All right, everyone, we got here the Specialized Tarmac S-Works SL6 in a size 56. Dura SDI2, power meter on there. 14 pounds, 13 ounces. 6.7234 kilos. Stay tuned after the video, I'm gonna do a free body sound test on those wheels. Super hot. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is GC Performance here, back with another video. And today I have for you guys the Specialized Tarmac S-Works SL6. And the reason why I said you guys can't get this bike in the States is because uh, I'm almost positive that this bike is sold only overseas. I think I saw Race Point do one on one of their uh, dream bike builds um, where they, they built this thing up. I was like, that color's super hot. It's only available in, I think, EU or maybe even Germany, wherever they're located at. But you won't see this bike in, in the United States at all. Absolutely gorgeous paint job. Now, it's very subjective and preference in terms of paint jobs, but... This bike is one of the sickest bikes out, and plus the weight. I mean, 14 pounds, 13 ounces for a disc. A disc 56, it looks insane, dude. I mean, the, the Rocket Red, okay? I'll go over the specs on the bike too, but Rocket Red, you have a Dove Gray S on there. That's not white, it's like a Dove Gray, almost like a muted gray. S-Works logo and a Dove Gray. It goes from Rocket Red to Gloss Black to Matte Black. Falls all the way down, goes up, and then you get hit with a Wine Red right there. Like a Gloss Burgundy Wine Red super classy and then boom the tarmac logo in the gloss gray or dove gray and then boom 12r carbon right there so i mean this bike is so hot it's insane and and the weight of it 14 pounds 13 ounces for a size 56 with the specialized power meter sl6 i'm sorry dual sided uh power meter here and then you have the other power meter pod on the other side ceramics few bearings tubeless wheels this thing isn't tubeless either it's insane. Uh, I, I, I want to buy this bike myself, but I don't ride enough to, to buy it. Secondly, the YouTube checks don't hit that hard yet, so uh, I can't afford it either. But let me get into it. Uh, this is the 2020 Specialized Tarmac S-Works SL6 uh, in the Durace Di2 model. It comes equipped with the CLX50 wheel set. So these wheels are ceramic speed included on the hubs. So you see right there, you have the ceramic speed logo. It's a Revol hub, ceramic speed logo. You have bladed spokes. Then you have the CLX 50 rim, so it's a 50 millimeter depth front and rear. These wheels are tubeless ready. You do get tubeless valves with it too, so you can just take them. You would just have to change out this tire um, and put a tubeless tire on there. You do get turbo cotton tires on here. So um, I think it's a 700 by 26. Moving up to the handlebar, you just have your basic standard S-Works carbon fiber uh, shallow drop bar. Now I was thinking about, me and my brother were talking maybe about getting this bike, splitting it because we're both the same size and putting on the one piece Alpinist handlebar, like a 130, 44, it looks sick. Like and have this just, just hanging there. Oh my God, it'd be badass. That bike is so nice. Okay, anyways, carbon fiber bar, um, normal normal stuff. You have the Shimano Di2 Durace shifters on here, hydraulic, so hydraulic braking, electronic shifting. You have your little buttons up here to control your Garmin if you want to as well. Um, and then the junction box is right there to charge it. So if you did have to charge it, you know where it is. All you have to do is pull this little tab down. Bada beep bop. Um, S works uh, specialized S works stem, alloy stem, titanium bolts, not carbon fiber. Uh, you have your regular carbon fiber spacers right there. Moving along, this is the cover plate for the electronic. You can make this bike mechanical too. Let's say you want to buy this bike. You're like, hey, I hate electronic shifting. Why I want to make it mechanical? You can do that. It's easy. You remove this. They include the plate. You run mechanical cables there. You're good to go. Going to the other side of the bike, you have this sick design, beautiful design, going all the way down the fork, I love it. Through axles right here, very cool. Then you get your included ceramic speed bottom bracket, as you guys can see right there. This is a BB30, so it is an OS BB30. Uh, it is, you know, like the press fit air, people say it's, it squeals, makes noises. Um, I don't really run into that issue a lot because I work at a bike shop and I can, I can just take it apart whenever I want and just regrease it. But yes, it does make noise, but it's a very simple solution. Just take it out, regrease it. Sometimes it dries up from people washing it and you're good to go. Um, S-Works power cranks, carbon fiber cranks. Uh, and then going on over to the other side, you have your power pod right here. So you get dual sided power meter readings on there. Uh, again, a carbon crank arm, a carbon fiber spider. And then the chain ring is a Praxis Works Practice works chain rings, they work with specialized now. Um, S work chain ring bolts, I believe this is a 5236 chain ring, um, so it has a mid compact. You can put a standard on there, you just have to buy a different spider. You can see right there, it has a ceramic speed logo. Very cool. 
even the bolts. This is on every single S-Works bike, but it's very cool. Even the bolts say S-Works. If you guys ever see those going to the shops, like take them off bikes, you know, they really piss off the employees. Uh, <laughs> uh, Shimano Durace DI2 front derailleur, Shimano Durace chain, Shimano Durace uh, rear derailleur with standard pulley wheels on there, Shimano Durace cassette, cool two-tone, cassette 11 toothier, 28 tooth up top. Again, you have the CLX50 rear wheel. It is ceramic speed bearings inside the wheel and the free hub body. They are tubeless ready and they come standard with the turbo cotton tires on there. The seat post is gonna be their D-shaped sheet, uh, D-shaped seat post. Integrated wedge right there for if you to uh, make it more aero. Got a little cover player there so that way you don't get all sweaty and gunky. Um, S-Works power saddle, carbon fiber body, carbon fiber rails, all the good stuff. But I mean, that wine red is insane. To match that kind of a, uh, to, to match that, that that the dove gray, the tarmac, like it's not a white. It might look white in the video I'm showing you right now, but it's like an off white kind of gray color. It looks sick, dude. I mean, I can't even get it. To, oh, let me take over here real quick. Sun shining. Let me do a live action for you guys real quick. Look at this freaking thing, dude. I'm on the sun, but damn. Look at that red, that bone color, like that, that dove gray. Let me get this red right here too. Dude. Come out, son. Look at that thing, though, man. That red is beautiful. Amazing bike. And and, and I'm, I'm astonished by being 14 pounds, 13 ounces stock. That's absolutely crazy to me. For a disc brake bike, that's... I don't know if they make them lighter over there in the outside the States. But holy cow, man. I, I haven't seen an SL6 Tarmac bone stock come that light in forever. I mean, granted, it's right around 15 pounds. It's 14, 13, but still. Tipping the scales at a 14 there. Insane, very cool. Now, things to note, SL6, this is a proprietary seat post. If you buy this bike, you might have to look out for that. Other than that, very easy to change out headset bearings here. Very easy to find parts for this thing. The bar is not proprietary, nothing's integrated. Very easy to make, uh, work on stuff. Bearings are very simple to find as well. A lot of stores carry that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just a beautiful looking bike. I think that's the coolest thing. Now, I do have this available in my store locally. If you guys are around the area, come on by and check it out this is a size 56 but it it being that you can't if i was to buy this bike you wouldn't see this no one else with this bike on the road so i'd be the only one with this bike on the road to have it so that being that factor adds cool points to me it makes the bike even hotter in my in my point of view so super nice i wish specialized made more colors like this now i showed it to one of my customers he just told me it was flat out ugly and he hated it but he doesn't like red so preference remember guys preference is key don't worry about what other people like, worry about what makes you happy. And if I had this bike for free, I'd be very happy. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you guys are in the area and you wanna buy it, send me an email, uh, gcperformanceyt at gmail.com. And uh, if you guys have any questions, descriptions, I know you guys seen these bikes a lot, but I just thought that paint job's really sick. If you guys wanna see a full in-depth detail build on the bike, uh, look at the channel Race Point. They do a full on building of the bike, very easy. But uh, you actually get to see, you know, the cool ASMR sounds, them dragging a hydraulic line through the cable, the frame, and uh, it's, it's relaxing. So very cool stuff. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for checking out, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the Specialized Tarmac SL6 S Works size 56 CLX 50 wheels. That's a free body sound over there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you next video.